It's so awesome. So much to see, so much to do, so much to experience, so much to learn and understand. We're all individuals, each with our own interests and ambitions to pursue in life. We each have our families and friends to share life with. Our Earth is such a fantastic world to live on. It's our very own premium little blue-green piece of absolutely prime intergalactic real estate. It might just be a microscopic pinhead in the universal scale of things, but it's our little pinhead, and could we ask for better? No way, man, no way. Whether it's jet boat riding, scuba diving, surfing, hanging out of helicopters, filming crashed boats, riding bikes, or even driving army tanks, it doesn't matter. It's whatever our individual buzz is, you see. It's whatever floats each of our boats. The secret of life is so simple. Just know what you yourself want to believe you can achieve, and then just get out there and live it, man. It's just so all there for us. Families growing up together, then branching out and renewing the incredible cycle of life, and then growing old together. Our parents, children, cousins, aunts, uncles, our grandparents, Parents, our brothers, sisters, and then later on, our own partners and children. What a concept. Then we've got our mates to hang out with and share good times together, to swap notes and ideas and what we see, experience, and how to best get the potential out of life. We give each other heaps of shit, all in good fun of course, but most importantly, we keep challenging each other to each be the very best we could ever be. Check out this guy for example. It's the middle of winter and he's just dived into the freezing cold ocean, in shorts even. Let's wait for him to put a top on and we'll go find out what his story is. Hey, you dude. You're one very crazy, very cold looking guy. What's this all about? You're here after a rather cold swim for the Bokerwood uh, Hall of Air swim. Uh, it sounds bloody cold to me, buddy. Um, did you actually enjoy yourself out there in that freezing cold water? Um, we had a lot of fun out there, sort of dying a little. Uh, were those waves out there big enough for you? Uh, the waves, fairly big swells out there. Was the weather good enough for you? Real cold swim. It's a fairly fine day out here. A blue sky. The sun shines fairly warm, so it's all in all a really great sort of day. See the things we do. People interacting together, making plans together, getting the most out of life together, and having fun together. That's what life's all about. Isn't it so obvious? Our little planet provides the ultimate smorgasbord of opportunity for us all. All we have to do is go out and make the most of it. To set in motion our goals and plans. And most importantly, to have fun as we go and do it. We're so lucky our address is Planet Earth. Today's plan was so simple. A few after work quiets at our favourite bar. <laughs> After our DVD finished, we got the hell shot. An emergency news report revealed America had been attacked. Suicide pilots had actually taken out the Twin Towers in New York. Then suddenly, without any kind of warning...
Well, that's that, I guess. September 12th, 2001. The day some trigger-happy idiot finally flipped that switch. When I woke up this morning, I'd so never have guessed we'd be watching bombs go off, trying to outrun that huge mother of a tidal wave, getting vaporized by a lightning bolt. You just wouldn't read about that kind of thing, but it actually happened. And now we're wading through this out of a tunnel of flowing liquid light, wading to where everything's gone. Uh oh, we must be gone as well. Oh shit, we're dead. This multicolored throat on acid type thing must be the gateway between life and death. So that's what the cool glow's all about. Us? Angels? Well, I guess we are now. This is it. The ultimate adventure. We're gonna find out what comes next. Unreal. Oh my god. The impossible has happened. Again. What the... We saw everything going crazy. Bombs, storms, tidal waves. Nothing's changed, everything's normal as. What, what happened then? Looks like we're on some wet twilight zone trip or something. There's a warning guys, we've been given a reality check. What happened to us? We know what we saw. Did we actually die and this is the afterlife? Whoa, man. The Twin Towers were destroyed in this world too, we later found, but here, that switch just simply wasn't thrown. That was the difference, you see. That one simple, small action held the fate of an entire world in the balance. Unbelievable. It's real scary stuff knowing we could lose everything just like that. We know. We saw it happen right here in this very spot. What a reality check. Food for thought, people. As both individuals and also as a race, we are the masters of our destinies. If the human race can just grow up and live together in harmony, we'll have an awesome future. As the head tenants of this jewel amongst the stars, it's up to us to treat it with all the respect it deserves. Because once it's gone, it's gone, and us with it. We have the power to make that all-important difference. The future of our race, the entire world even, does depend on it. Which is it to be? Life or death? It's up to each and all of us. I guess, well I know, it is as simple as that. <laughs>